Hello everybody, this is Zaxter99. Welcome back to my new series called What If and Questions That Make You Go Hmm. This is video number three. And if you'll remember in the last video, video number two of this new series, I asked you, my viewers, to comment down below, you know, if there was a product, something you could buy out there in the world, what product would best illustrate you your soul how would your soul and who you are best be described in a product out there that uh, you know anybody can go buy and why and I had a couple of pretty good answers I didn't get a whole lot of people answering this question but I did like the answers that I got Sarah Bailey answered the question she said okay I've given it some thought and I've asked a few people I am a warm sweater on a brisk fall day. It warms not only your body, but also your soul. It is the thing that you turn to for comfort and security when the harsh winds blow. So no matter what life throws at you, you know that you can turn to your sweater. It's always there, just like me. So it sounds like Sarah, I'm guessing she's probably like a mother. Um, or she has family that turn to her when they need her the most. That's just a wild guess. Uh, I know Sarah Bailey's uh, been a subscriber to me for probably six months or more. But that's just a wild guess. It sounds like, you know, a good old-fashioned mother. Uh, somebody that their kids and maybe her husband and family and parents and everybody that knows her can lean on. And I really like that, you know, kind of like a sweater. Uh, when it gets cold outside, when the weather's not exactly warm, she's comfort on that cold, rainy day. I really like that answer, and it looks like she put some thought into that. And then Rock and Roll here, another subscriber of mine, says, I'm a weevil. I'm fun and cute, and no matter how hard life knocks me down, I'm still here standing. I'll give an example. Nine years ago this month, my sister passed away. And in the last nine years, I lost my parents as well as my fiance. I may hurt sometimes, but I'm still standing just like a weeble. Um, jingle weebles wobble, but they don't fall down. And if any of you guys have ever played with one of those toys, yeah, you can knock them around, but they just pop right back up. And I love that answer as well. Uh, rock and roll, I am sorry for the losses you've experienced in your life, your sister, your parents, and, oh my God, your fiance. That is definitely uh, an illustration of a man that just pops right back up when he gets hard, you know, hit the hardest in life the most. Uh, nothing's harder than losing loved ones and family uh, in your life, and sadly, it's something that we all, you know, we all have to go through. So again, you know, to answer my own question about this, I put some thought into this question after I asked you guys, my viewers, and this was a really tough one for me. Uh, you know, I don't know that my answer is quite as good as the people that, you know, gave me their answers about how, you know, they are there for people that they love, uh, or how they, you know, no matter how hard life is, they just still stand like a rock. Uh, you can't knock them down. Really love those answers. But for me, guys, I think that I am going to be a comic book. Not a, you know, not like a Spider-Man comic book, but more like a, 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 co a comedy comic book. You know, maybe a, a Sylvester or a Roadrunner comic book or, you know, one of those old funny comic books. Calvin and Hobbes, perhaps. I know that when I was growing up, I used to love the daily comics and the Sunday comics, and Calvin and Hobbes was always my favorite comic. Because the way that little kid in that comic uh, acted and thought reminded me so much of myself. My imagination as a kid growing up, and how I imagined just crazy things, and how I was always sarcastic and... Uh, you know, took things out of context and always got in trouble for being a wise butt. Uh, you know, Calvin always reminded me so much of myself as a kid growing up. And uh, I really always loved that comic. Definitely my favorite comic strip ever in the newspapers. But 
I think that I would be either a comic strip or a comic book uh, as a product. Uh, if you could best put my soul and who I am into a product, because just like I do with my YouTube channel here, uh, I try to entertain people, much like a comic book. And nothing makes me happier than when I can get a smile or a laugh out of somebody that I'm entertaining or talking to. Uh, if I can turn somebody's bad day, uh, you know, whether they're frustrated or sad or whatever, and I can turn that into a smile or a laugh, man, that's what I'm all about. And so I think a comic book uh, would best describe who I am. So for my next question, for my third question in my what if questions that make you go hmm series, I'm going to ask you guys a rather complex question about death. Now death is something that is going to happen to each and every one of us. We're all going to die. You know, it's just a matter of when and I like to say, you know, uh, what's important is how you live your life not how old you live to be, the quality of the life that you live. But after you die, if much like a long live stream that, you know, I might play of a game or something like that, if your life was a really, really, you know, 80 year live stream and you was to take just a few moments out of your life and turn that into a highlight moment, one highlight moment of your entire life that would best define you or best showcase you, your best moments, just one point in your life, not a highlight video showcasing many points of your life, no, one highlight moment of your life, maybe a day but it would be highlights of that day. When would that highlight be? What were you doing? Where were you? And why would you choose that moment or time for your highlight you know, video showcasing your life here on Earth? So that's my question to you for the third question in the series. I hope you guys are enjoying the series. And again, tune in on Friday to hear my answer and hear me read your answers to my question today. Be sure you rate my video guys, be sure you share this video with friends and loved ones on your social media sites. We need to get more people answering these questions and watching these videos because I really like the answers that I'm getting to my video questions so far. This has been Zach Cerner 9 thanks so much for watching everybody and we'll see you in the next video. Take care everyone.